Senators with smiling faces and fake hair like cotton candy advertise on my television screen. We are making the world a better place for our children, they say as they cut my education to the bone. I guess I won't be taking art history this year. I imagine looking into the dull eyes of my congressmen, shaking their weathered porcelain hands, trying to avoid contracting the diseases which seem to infect them all, like spiders weaving threads of indecency into the minds of good men and turning their charisma to dust. You're lucky, they would say. You were born in the booming age of technology and opportunity. The world is your oyster. Yes, I am lucky. Polar bears are drowning, Latin is dead, and we owe our economic stability to communist countries who promote slave labor. But I am lucky because I can display my emotions with 277 emojis, and while I'll never see the Grand Canyon, I'll see Keeping Up with the Kardashians six nights a week. I am so lucky that you engineered a government where it is impossible for me to succeed. And even when you do, you will only give me 77 cents to your dollar. I am lucky that my children will likely have lung cancer and need breathing tubes because our air is so polluted. And they will be lucky to see Muslims attacked on every news station as they increasingly separate into red and blue because purple has vanished from politics. But they will never see a Bengal tiger. And so, when you rich white congressmen with your sweaty hands and your failing kidneys shake my hands, I will agree. I am lucky. I am blessed. The world is my oyster. Now, I don't know much about oysters, but I know if you pry them, they will die. Pry me enough and I will spark. I will start a fire in your living room and the boy next door will shoot his embers skyward. We will riot in the streets and electrocute your homes. They were never yours anyway. We will crumple your swollen wallets like we did our taxes and strike a match. The sun may be dying, but we will ignite stars. Burn the indecency, burn the corruption, burn the planes, trains, and everything else. Burn the bubbles we encase ourselves in. Burn the old bridges and make new ones. Burn the prejudice, burn the pollution, burn the stars until, our, until they start to fall. Burn the oyster until you reach the pearl.